Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation. m cubed plus 11 times m is equal to 30. We need to find all possible values of m. So, let's start. We write this m cubed first. m cubed plus this 11 times m is equal to we can split this 30 as we can split this 30 as 8 plus 22 now we move this 8 and this plus 22 to the left side m cubed this plus 8 becomes negative 8 at left side plus this 11 times m and this plus 22 becomes negative 22 at left side is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus this 8 can be written as 2 cubed plus 11 times m minus 22 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 2 cubed can be factorized as m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m plus 4. And from these two terms plus 11m minus 22, we can factor out plus 11, plus 11 as a common factor and in bracket left, m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 2, this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2, m minus 2 as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this m squared plus 2m plus 4 and this plus 11. In bracket left m squared plus 2m plus 4 plus 11 is equal to 0. Next, m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m plus 4 plus 11, 15 is equal to 0. Now, from here, either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 2m plus 15 is equal to 0 and from here m is equal to 2 this is the first solution this is the first value of m now to find the other two values we solve this quadratic equation m squared plus 2m we can split this 15 as plus 1 plus 14 is equal to 0. Now, we move this plus 14 to the right side. m squared plus 2m plus 1 is equal to negative 14. Now, we can write this expression as m squared plus 2 times m times 1 plus we can write this one as 1 squared is equal to negative 14. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This uh, m squared plus 2 times m times 1 plus 1 squared can be written as m plus 1 whole squared is equal to negative 
14. Now from here we take a square root of both sides m plus 1 whole squared and we take square root at left side is equal to square root of negative 14. Now this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left side left m plus 1 is equal to this square root of negative 14 is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 14. Next m plus 1 is equal to plus or minus square root of we can write this negative 14 as 14 times negative 1. Next, m plus 1 is equal to plus or minus. We can write this uh, square root of 14 times negative 1 as square root of 14 times square root of negative 1. Next, m plus 1 is equal to plus or minus square root of 14 and this uh, square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So we replace this uh, square root of negative 1 with i. Now we move this plus 1 to the right side. So m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 14 times i. So from here we get two values of m. m2 is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 14 times i and m3 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 14 times i. And first we get the value of m1 is equal to m1 is equal to 2. Value of m1 is equal to 2. So these are the three solutions of this equation. These two solutions are complex and this value of m1 is a real number. So let's verify this value of m1 2. To verify this value we put this value 2 in the original equation. The original equation is m cubed plus 11 times m is equal to 30. In this equation we put the value of m 2. So this m cubed becomes 2 cubed plus 11 times value of m is 2 is equal to 30 and 2 cubed is 8 plus 11 times 2 22 is equal to 30 and 8 plus 22 30 is equal to 30. You can see that a left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this value of m1 2 is a valid solution.